Hey guys. So this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So, wow. Somebody is somebody becoming more obsessive about you because they feel like you're acting unaffected by something. They feel like you're acting unbothered. <laughs> or some of you guys are still really desire somebody or still feel attached to somebody, but you're like coming off as unbothered or something like that. Or this person is trying to act like they're unbothered, but they're obsessed with you. They're very fixated on you. What, how does this relate to my collective? Grip by obsession, not bothered. <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to bring you an apology. Yep, somebody's in regret. Mm -hmm. Now we have upcoming trip. Mm hmm. You guys may be receiving an apology, a apology from this person while you're on a trip or around the time you're going on a trip or like for some of you, this could be somebody that lives at a distance from you or you could like somebody maybe wants to travel to you to apologize to you. Yeah. Or like you're going to hear from this person while you're traveling. Or it's like this person is maybe seeing you traveling and you're just living your best life and they're feeling like you're unbothered by something and they're obsessing over this. It could be, take it how it resonates, but we have guilt and regret here. We have two cards that says we have sincere regret and we have guilt and regret. Accepting responsibility, haunted, taking action. Sur well, we have surface level bond though here, life partner. Ah, see, I don't usually read reversals, but it's like, this is somebody that was trying to like, have something very surface level with you but now they're thinking like marriage and life partner and all that stuff or for some of you they were maybe with somebody else for the wrong reasons but yeah we have unhealthy connection secret admirer suffering in silence hmm what is the um surface level bond before i move on to the tarot healing work yeah somebody was like not able to meet you deeply because they needed to they needed to like heal so that they can meet themselves deeper Somebody was not wanting to open up to you. Yeah, I don't think that I'm not seeing third party indication yet. Wow, somebody is doing the healing work. We have love gates are open. Or it's like as someone heals, they're going to be like more in tune with their feelings and emotions and how they're going to be coming to more to terms with how they feel about you. Let's see what's after that romance in the workplace, though. Marriage material. What is work part? What is the romance in the workplace? Sexual chemistry thinking of you what is romance in the workplace this person could be thinking about you while they're at work friendly love work and finances hmm what does romance in the workplace mean for my collective trust your see be careful second chances what are their intentions no contact what are this person's intentions they've had a change of heart why they want i don't know guys i don't know if you can trust this person's intentions yeah, this person's already a little bit afraid that you're probably going to reject them, which is why they haven't reached out to you yet. But this person's obsessing over you. This person wants to work together with you on something. I feel like it has maybe something to do with money. Yeah, focusing on work, financial decisions. Or for some of you, they maybe chose somebody that they... If, if, uh, I don't even want to go into third party yet, but... What is this work? Tell me more about what, this work and finances and what was it? Romance in the workplace. How does that relate to my collective? We have making lifestyle changes, playing the field. Yeah. They could, for some of you, they could have been playing around with somebody at work. I don't know. Spiritual purpose, big lessons meant to meet, or somebody that was helping them financially. They knew that there was something significant about this connection, but they were kind of like trying to put it on the back burner or trying to suppress it, ignore it, but also string you along because they knew deep down that this was something um, significant. Okay. Um, hmm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know yet. Let's see. Tell me more about what my collective needs to know about this person. Yeah, someone's view viewing you as a missed opportunity. See, why is it the ace? I mean, the ace of pentacles is good. Like, that can just be like an off a stable offer, an offer of commitment. But something feels like somebody's maybe, they feel like, they feel like the two of you coming together, you guys could have had like financial stability or you guys could have been like a power couple or something like that. Definitely feel like, yeah, they're not happy. See, somebody is trying to act like they're unbothered and that they're they're ha they're okay, they're happy, but they're actually not. Somebody's putting on, this is a facade here. Someone's trying to act like they're not obsessed when they really are obsessing over you. Like they know that losing you is a big, is like a missed opportunity. I don't know if it's because you guys like, 
you guys coming together, like you guys together can make a lot of money or like be very financially stable together. Like there's something here. Like they know losing you is not good. And they're not happy at all. They're pretending to be happy. Tell me more. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Empress, they know you are the Empress or the Emperor. The Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. They know you're very abundant. You're very nurturing. You're very loving. They know you're the total package. So, yeah, Ace of Wands, though. What is this upcoming? Tell me more about upcoming trip. The Emperor. Okay. Yeah, now we have the Empress and the Emperor out here. Why is the Ace of Wands here, though? The Five of C? I don't know. Why the Five of Pentacles? See, this person's still in this lack energy. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. We also have Taurus. We have Aries. This person's in this, like, lack energy or something's going on with their money. Yeah, something's going on with their money right now, guys. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. They could also be very fixated on their financial situation as well. Why is this person coming in to make amends with my collective? See, Three of Cups. Why are they wanting to... Why, they're wanting to collaborate with you. Why? The star, the queen of, see, now we have the queen of cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What about that? See, I feel like this person needs you for something. Okay, I'm sort of, like, I don't know. Refusing to close out his life cycle, shortcuts. What is this person's intentions? The chariot came in, came out weird though. Cancer energy. They want, why are they wanting to move something forward? Yeah, 10 of cups reverse. They're going through something here. Either they, they're in like an unhappy living situation. Like they either had a breakup. What is this 10 of cups reverse? They're having family issues. Strength. The nine of wands. Okay. What does this have to do with my collective? The two of wands. See, this person's still like indecisive about you. This person's so indecisive about commitment or something like that. Okay, and then what? See, this person is trying to heal. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This person is trying to heal. Like, they're actively trying to work on themselves. But there's something going on. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Something's going on with this person's money. And I really don't, what does that have to do with my collective though? Like they're not, they're, yeah. They're viewing you as a missed, it's like almost like a missed financial opportunity or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to say that because I don't, how do I say this? They're definitely looking at you as a missed opportunity that they didn't make the right decisions. They were foolish for letting you go because they're in a bad place now. It's almost like this person feels like the two of you coming together, you guys could have had something stable and in, in like, mm, they feel like they took too long to decide about you. Why are they in this fight, this King of Pentacles in reverse energy? What happened? Yeah, they're having delays in their finances, but something is happening too because they were resisting change and they were resisting making a decision. It's like money is slow to come in for this person or something like that. Yeah, Seven of Cups. What are they confused about? See, now we have this Queen of Wands in reverse. What does this have to do with my collective? The Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. Huh. Is this person choosing? This is me for my collective going forward. The Two of Swords in reverse. It's almost like this person is trying to gather more information before they make a decision or something like that. They're definitely in regret because they're, you know what's happening, guys, with the Five of Cups, Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune? This bad karma has hit this person. All right? They're going, they, they're finally getting their karma for something that they did. Yes, judgment. I'm telling you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they are going through bad karma. For some of you, it's because, I don't know exactly what they did just yet, but I know, I can definitely see that this person was clinging to some things that they were they needed to let go of a long time ago. Like they were clinging to a karmic or old karmic cycles. They were being very resistant to change. Now they have an unwelcome change because the divine intervened and now they're not happy. Like now they're not doing well at all. Like they're going through bad, they're going through not so great karma right now. But this is to wake this person up, Scorpio energy to this connection. Ah, 
they're, this is making them want to have another chance. And I feel like it's also waking them up to this connection. But it's like part of them is starting to feel like they may be missing out. It's just like a missed opportunity. So it's like they're obsessing over this. Okay, so. Give me more clarity about what's going to happen around this upcoming trip energy. What is this? They're going to try to like have a new opportunity to. Somebody's trying to choose a path here. That's what this is. Yeah, someone's trying to choose what path they want to go down. And what does that have to do with my collective? Temperance. Or this is you guys that need to make a decision. What does that do with my collective? King of Pentacles and Rarely Found. The Five of Pentacles. It's like almost like you guys don't feel like whatever this per like this person doesn't have enough to offer you. For some of you, you feel like this person leaves you out in the cult for some type of toxic family dynamic or something. Talk about the Ten of Cups in reverse. See, the same cards keep coming out. What are this? What is the strength energy? The Seven of Cups. What about the strength and the Seven of Cups? See, they're finally seeing the truth about something here. I don't know, guys. I see them coming. They're come. They're deciding to come in and offer something to you. Reach out to you, whatever try to negotiate something here or like yeah negotiate their way back into your life or try to mediate something here but see that ten of pentacles in reverse that those those that ten of cups in reverse and that ten of pentacles in reverse and that king of pentacles in reverse and that five of pentacles that is screaming money something's going on with their money and i don't understand their i feel like are they what are their intentions they hear upon they do want something committed yeah they do want something committed Okay, see, they were six of pentacles. Now they want something balanced. See, it's not that they want to use you. It's not even that, guys. This person is realizing that if they would have worked together with you, like this is maybe something that you were trying to tell this person, like, you know, us pulling our money together or us being living together or us being together, we can help each other out. Like, that's what a relationship is mutually beneficial. We, we could have helped each other out. Like, I don't know why this person was like not wanting to do this. But it's like now they're wanting this. Like it's like they're now they're wanting the commitment. Now they're wanting to, they're gonna reach out to you. Now they're gonna want something balanced. Now they're gonna want to give to you. Like they're gonna this person was very really stingy with their energy, money, whatever with you before. But now they're wanting to have something balanced because maybe for some of you, they can't, they're whatever this karma is, is hitting their money. It's hitting their stability. That could have been what was keeping this person like that could have been like the final little leg or whatever you want to say it that was keeping them from choosing you was something about finances, but spirit kind of ripped that from underneath their like their um, what do you how do you say that but underneath them like they took that away there was some type of divine intervention here. Because there was something about money that was keeping this person stuck in indecision about you or choosing you in a, between you and something else. I'm hearing that that was like the final, that was the thing. Like that was the thing that was really keeping this person from like being like, all right, I'm going to take a leap of faith or I'm going to do this with, you know, the collective. But it's like spirit just took that away from them. That's what I'm getting from this. Now they're not, they're going through it. But it's making them realize like it's making them, it's like fixing their vision. It's fixing their perception about things. For some reason they couldn't see this. They were in some type of illusion. Why were they in the Seven of Cups energy? The Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Why were they in this illusion or whatever? The Justice in Reverse. Mm. They felt like... they. F you know what it was, guys? Is that they felt they had put a lot of time and energy and effort into something. Or they had already invested their money into something. Or it was just something that they had been in for a long time. But why is the justice, they didn't listen to their intuition. Now they're getting karma. Yeah, I'm telling you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, they were not being honest with you about being single. For some of you, they had a, they had a person. They were in a relationship. But for others of you, I'm not even getting that. Something, this karma that they're getting is hitting their money. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person is in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And it's funny because when I was before I even started filming this reading, the nine of pentacles upright fell out. So it's like, <sighs> mm -hmm, guys, it's something to do with their money. They're having some type of financial and they could be having a financial setback because of a legal situation for some of you. 
Mm -hmm. Their money has slowed down or they don't have money coming in like they used to. They're coming back, I'm telling you. And they're coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. But with the Queen of Swords here, you you cut this person off. Or you, you're you really firming your boundaries when it comes to this person. If they're coming towards you in that toxic energy, I feel like you don't. And you're in this very independent energy where you don't need this person. That's what I'm saying. You're in the Nine of Pentacles. They're in the uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're, they're, it's like they're in this needy energy now, which is not that great. You know what I mean? For them, I see them wanting to, what is the Ace of Wands? What's the Ace of Wands? The Three of Swords. What does it do with the Ace of Wands? The Queen of Cups in reverse. What's Ace of Wands mean for my collective? Two of Pentacles. See, this person was trying to figure out. Oh, this is some type of past heartbreak or pain. Yeah, somebody was still dwelling on some type of like past heartbreak or pain or even even maybe back to their child childhood. The magician, the lovers. Okay, I can't put that one in the frame because, you know, get in trouble on YouTube. The magician and the two of pentacles, the moon. What's the moon? The hermit. This person's wanting to let their guard down with you now, but yeah, there's that leap of faith I was talking about. The full Aquarius energy. I, I don't know. They 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 do love you, but why is the Seven of Swords here? I don't like that. They've been hiding their feelings from you. It's like they're they're having a new perspective here, and now they want to like move things forward. They what they actually want to be in a relationship relationship. Because I feel like before they were not trying to actually be with you, like you know, because we had that surface level bond card. Now they want to be a life partner with you. And what does that card say? Not I'm thinking about it. The life partner card says. I don't know. I might have lost that one. Yeah, I think it was on the back of the deck. Let me see. Oh, and I'm not going to be able to find that card right now. It's so like they actually want to be in a, like an actual relationship with you where you guys like work together. Like now they want to be a team player. This person was like not making a decision. So the spirit came in and with something here, a tower. That that feel like they were trying to, whatever they were trying to prevent and kept them from being with you, it happened. What is that card at? Yeah, future marriage, the one union. They want to come in a union now. I don't know. When they, before they wanted something very surface level. I just heard an arm's length, so they could have been keeping you at arm's length. It'll be really funny if the power couple card comes out. Earlier in the day, too, I was seeing this upcoming trip card in my head. I don't know. It's like they're taking the initiative here. So we have past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. You have healing again. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. Yeah, there's something about things were not balanced between you and this person. And they know that you're no longer playing with them anymore. Like you're not settling for that anymore. A lack of reciprocity. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Yeah, we have breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. So again, this person could have just, for some of you, just been, they, what was keeping them from choosing you, they could have been stressed over money. They were obsessed with money or obsessed with something in regards to money. But I feel like they're also obsessed with you. Yeah, passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between love and lust. Let's do two more. We have the journey. See, what is that? We have upcoming trip and journey. You guys are about to embark. That's what the upcoming trip in the Ace of Wands is. You guys are about to embark on a new journey with this person. It's going to be different than it was before. This person is in genuine regret. I do feel like they're going to come in with a genuine apology this time. And it's like, it's like you and this person are going to work together. You're going to like be life, like actually how a relationship should be. It says this love journey may be long and challenging, but so as long as you are with them, 
you'll never walk alone. So it's like, you guys will have each other. They're leaving something behind either. It could be a mindset for some of you, but it's like, you and this person are going to feel like you, you're, you're each other's rock or like you, you, you know, things are not going to be easy, but you will have each other type thing. Yeah. We have the witch here. They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if they have you under, if they have, if you have them under a spell. Yeah, this person is just like, and like when you and this person come back together, it's going to be very fiery between you and this person. Like a lot of passion here. Yeah. This has good potential. Things will actually be able to grow. I feel like they were stagnant before. Hmm. Um, let's see. Oh, the back of the deck. Unseen factors. There's more to this love story, though. You cannot see it now. There's so much more to unfold. Again, like I said, that you guys may feel like maybe you and this person are done. But Sarah says there's going to be another journey. Like that you, you and this person are about to embark on a journey if you want it. Yeah, each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. So you were dealing with a player. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. They're definitely keeping tabs on you, gathering, trying to gather information or I feel like maybe trying to figure out how to approach you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. You have unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch for you all alone, but unable to connect, confess their feelings due to fear of rejection. Yeah, they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. They sabotaged this, guys, because they had everything that they wanted in you. And it's like when they got it, because that card says that they knew you to, you were the one that they had been wishing for. And then they got you. And then they, they felt like it was too good to be true. And then they messed up. <laughs> they sabotaged this. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories. Because of them, you are too perfect to believe it's true. So they just were like, they, they completely sabotaged this. They felt like it was an illusion. They felt like they were being played. I don't know. They just felt like that because this person didn't believe that they were, they wanted it. But when it, they, they didn't truly believe that they deserved it, that's why they need to heal. Maybe this person's finally coming to terms like with the fact that, you know, they do deserve somebody that like you. Cause, and it, it's been a journey with this person. It hasn't been easy with them because this whole time you've been dealing with them, they didn't feel like they deserve somebody like you. But maybe now, because it says that it's at, they're at the end of a healing cycle. So you guys could be on a self-love journey and they could be also on a self-love journey. But Spirit says that healing cycle is coming to an end. Obviously, we should we should always be in an energy of self-love. But it's like some type of journey when it comes to loving yourself and knowing your worth is coming to an end. And this is maybe something you and this person have both been working on. And then it's like a new chapter will maybe be able to emerge for you and this person. They're going to leave something. They're going to get out of their head or they're going to actually leave a situation um, or whatever was keeping the two of you apart. They're going to walk away from that. And then they're going to they're going to take the initiative to try to start some type of new cycle with you or a new journey with you. But like I said, they, I told you, they're very obsessed with money or money focused or fixated on their finances. That was what was keeping them from choosing you or like taking a leap of faith on this. But I feel like something happened in regards to that. It says they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy. Or maybe for some of you, they were, they, they stayed in a situation or whatever they were doing they could have been financially stable. And I don't know because I see them having financial issues, but it says things hasn't made them happy. They could have chose a situation because they thought they were going to be more financially stable or whatever. They were going to be able to have the things that they wanted in that situation financially or materialistic wise or whatever I'm trying to say. But they they were realized, I feel like that got ripped out from under them and they're not happy there because they're happiest when they're with you. Yeah, they they did choose somebody else over you. Here we go. <laughs> They chose someone else over you, and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. This person was placing more value on money and stability than their happiness and their fulfillment. Mm. But you guys feel each other. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. Yeah, they're awakening. Now they're spending time alone. Yeah, they need to address and work on healing these old wounds of theirs. That's keeping them very indecisive and wishy-washy and fickle. But there's going to be a breakthrough. And I told you, a leap of faith. Things are going to change. They're fine. They really have been doing the healing work, y'all. Working on these inner child wounds. Working on their self-worth. Getting to know themselves better. Spending more time with themselves. Um, 
It says, yeah, the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and the recognize the connection. And this is what's leading to this leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. All right. All right, I'm going to get a few of these, and then I am going to take this over to the extended reading. So for the most part, guys, this looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know about that rival energy, but I don't know who they chose over you. They chose somebody because they it was like their comfort zone, or they thought that they would be more financially stable there. But it wasn't where their heart was at, and it was not somewhere that was making them happy. Because I kept seeing that energy, like the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, like... They could have stayed in that situation because they thought that it was going to be like bring them financial stability. But I feel like that fell apart, too. So now they're like, why am I even here? Like, I only was here because of the money aspect. Now that's gone. That has fallen apart. So why am I here? Like, it's like spirit is trying to force this person out of this situation. It's like the one thing that was keeping them stuck and make from choosing you. They're like, well, we're going to take that away. We're going to rip that right from underneath you because you are being too resistant to change. What, what came out earlier? I was talking about that. Yeah, I told you, they're going through it. Like, they're going through it in a situation right now because they were resistant to change and they were holding on to a, a dead cycle. Like, something that was not really for their highest good. I really want to tell you how I feel, but it is too. Is it too late? Will you understand what I'm trying to say to you or will you misinterpret my messages? I'd rather not say anything at all. So this is somebody that's like, went to go reach out to you and then they changed their mind. This person has a fear of rejections. It's like their ego won't be able to handle it if you don't answer them or you ignore them but they're going to end up getting to that point where they take that leap of faith and they like they put their pride to the side and they do reach out i don't know if it was love or if i don't know if this was love or if i was in love with the idea of being in love our connection was all too consuming and i can't wrap my head around it so this person was having a hard time deciding what was going on between the two of you did they were they just sexually attracted to you or was it something more and they feel like you guys are very different whether it was age or status or whatever beliefs cultures it says instant cosmic connection, similar upbringing or dating history, difference in age, but maturity, maturity level is almost the same. Yeah, Libra. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra, but this is just their indecisive energy, them weighing their options. Yeah. Our differences, what did I just say? Our differences drove us apart and it angered me that you don't didn't understand where I was coming from. It still pains me when we can't come to come, that we can't come to an agreement, even if we love each other. You guys were just not able to get on the same page or see eye to eye, but it's like you guys miss each other. Yeah. Having a hard time letting go, examining photos and thinking about the past, strong emotional feelings while thinking about memories. All right. So how is this gap going to be bridged or whatever I'm saying? We have soulmate. Needs are equally met. Challenges you to be more giving and loving, deeply connected without the codependency or neediness. It says, you may think you found the one, see, but they wouldn't cause you so much stress if they were. Wake up and realize our connection is the real deal. Somebody was holding on to a false flame <laughs> because they were codependent. It's like this connection that they have with you is making them realize that in that connection, they're eight, like they've been in a very imbalanced connection or something like that. What, why is false flame coming out? We have Capricorn. What about Capricorn and False Flame? Fulfilled. See, you're what everything that you guys have together is showing them like everything that they don't have in this other connection with this False Flame or whoever this person is. Yeah, completion or achievement. Feeling happy and satisfied with one's life, going after what you want and getting what you want out of life. That's probably yeah. So what does that do with this connection? Trigger. See. Somebody, so some of you guys are Capricorns, but some of you guys are just like very hardworking and ambitious and um, driven and like you got goals, right? You guys are very awesome. You, you're maybe like very um, focused on work or your business or whatever. And you know what you want, right? Yeah, you know exactly what you want. And you're, it's like all that hard work and everything that you've been putting into you, whatever you're working on is, is paying off for you. You're very fulfilled in your life. Yeah. They're triggered by this, though. You could have told this person, like, exactly what you wanted and that they were not that. Like, <laughs> some of you guys are starting to realize with this false flame in reverse, you're starting to realize. You just feel like this person isn't wait, is, is not seeing what the two of you could be together. This person's triggered by you. 
they're triggered that things are why are they triggered before i say what i was going to say even though we are not together we are connected though through and through when i sleep i dream of you when i awake when i'm awake i think of you i'm able to feel you as if you are physically here so that the fact that they can still feel you even though you're apart so okay let's do one more i love this person is triggered because things are working out for you and they're over there in turmoil yep my obsessive thinking got the best of me i allow my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions toward our connection i fan finally understand i need to trust my intuition back of the deck we have small offering though mm. short and temporary offering in between feeling awakened and unawakened so be careful they are awakening just know that guys they are awakening but they may try to have something go like do something offer you something small they're, they're st they still have more work to do they still have more of like an awakening process to go through yeah they're still like not 100 percent letting go of something but they're trying like, they're getting to that point where they're about to but they haven't let it go completely yet stuck in a situation they cannot get out of and only can give you something small yeah they're still running yeah afraid of doing the work they're still afraid of letting this go completely and they still have a free a, a fear of intimacy or something but yeah, I'm seeking your forgiveness. Even if I can't utter the words, I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly. So this person knows they did you wrong, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. They feel very guilty for the cycles that you guys have gone through and things being dysfunctional between the two of you. Yeah, I realize there is something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much too soon and I have other things I need to deal with. Yeah, but it's like this person does know. They just don't want to know. I don't I don't even know why I'm lying to myself about the way I feel about you. I may act as if I if I don't even didn't I just say that about this person? They try to act unbothered, bothered. They're wearing a mask. I don't even know why I'm lying to myself about the way I feel about you. I may act as if I don't even care, but deep down I know it's because I care too much and that makes me very afraid. So they're still yeah, and then we have denial of the connection behind that. So it's like they're still not wanting to accept this. But Sphere says in divine timing they will. Yeah, you and this person need to be in separation right now because all their insecurities and attachment issues are are still very much there. But they're going to end up realizing that they listen to the wrong people. Whoever that, yeah, they have people, yeah, they need to inner child healing. Yeah, I had my life all planned out, focusing on my five-year plan, but then I met you and everything changed. I didn't know how to rearrange my life for you. I should have learned to compromise. This person wasn't meeting you in the middle. They wanted they, things their way or the highway, and they wanted to wear this mask. Yeah, I'm wearing a mask by ha appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I'm alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. Lord. Yeah, we need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start new. I'm telling you that I see them doing it. I don't really know when. We're going to take a look. Yeah, and then we have distance. Separated by states, countries, continents, and oceans could have met in an unusual circumstances while traveling or in an airport or at a train st station. See, what is that about? You guys are in separation. Yeah, even if I'm gone, I'm still connected to you in some way. I can't cut you off completely, but I'm afraid to return. My only interaction with you is through your social media. I miss you. So they're like watching you from a distance. Yeah, they're still wa they're watching you from a distance. For some of you, there's something to do with travel. What is that travel aspect? What is that upcoming trip? Hold on. It's almost like you guys are embarking on journeys apart from one another or you already are, are on that journey. Like there's distance, like emotional, like physical, whatever. What is this upcoming trip energy? And then I'm taking this over to the extended. Yeah, exactly. I'm devoted. They're thinking about the future. I am devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. They, they're going to want to come in and start down a new path with you, like together. A journey with the with their their empress their divine feminine divine masculine take how it resonates yep they don't even know how to process all this they don't know how to process somebody like you but it says i'm healing it myself through meditation and spiritual practices is the only way i can make myself whole some of you guys are just choosing to stay quiet right now and just focus on healing and your spiritual practices. And you did, you maybe feel like you said some things to this person that you didn't mean or that you regret. Or you feel like you said too much, but all right. But all right. But 